What's going on, y'all? Welcome to Elbow Media Studios. My name is Marcus Elbow, a.k.a. Mark Lamont. Hey, today we're going to be talking about audio stems in Beatmaker 3. And if you're not familiar with what stems are, stems are like an accumulation of a bunch of sounds or tracks or samples that you want to bundle together and take them to another DAW or another piece of software so that you could mix them and bring them back together. And I'm going to show you all today how to do that on Beatmaker 3 and then take it into GarageBand. So this is going to be a pretty, pretty cool tutorial. So let's take a look at how to create those stems and then export them out of Beatmaker 3. Let's do it. Okay, guys, let's look at how to export uh, stems uh, of your song so that you could use them in another program, another DAW. And this is a very, very simple process. Um, and what stems are, stems are individual tracks that you have accumulated or used inside of your song. And you want to essentially take those and maybe use them in something else. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the menu over here in the top left corner. And we're going to go ahead on and export this song, which is over here in the right top right corner. Okay, we're going to hit export and it's going to try to ask us what, what do we want to do. Okay, so what we want to do is we can either do a master. So this essentially would be if you want to take it and you already know that the song is ready, it's been mixed, it's good to go. And you can just export it as a WAV file um, and use it on SoundCloud or whatever you're going to use it for. But if you want to take this to another DAW, we're going to have to click on the track selection here. And as you can see here, it gives you a few... Um, options. Um, we knew that song that I just uh, we just had on the screen was 57 bars. So we can just take that and we can just get that uh, 57 bars going. All right, we have 57 bars. We're going to start at bar one. We want this to be a wave. Uh, we want whenever they export them out, we want them all to be waves. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the tracks that we want to send out. Let's just say you had some vocals or some other things that you were doing and you didn't want to take those vocals with this track. You just wanted to take the instruments and samples. All you would do is go here and select the ones that you want to export. Okay. And those are all of the stems that are, going, that are going to be zipped into a zip file that you could open back up in another program. So let's go ahead and hit uh, Start Export. It's going to start doing that. Now it's going to save it in a directory on your iPad for you to use yourself. And let's just say you want to use it in GarageBand on your iPad. Um, it will tell you exactly where it is, but you can also go ahead and hit the Share button here. And it's going to ask you how you want to send this out. You can send it via email. You can send it in the text or however you want to send it. Well, since we are working with Mac products, I'm going to send it to my iMac. And then we will continue on GarageBand. So let me go ahead and hit that. And then once that is sent, we will move over to GarageBand. Okay, so now that you know how to create the audio stems, now we need to go into um, GarageBand and figure out how to get those stems into GarageBand so that you can use them. All right, come on, let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create um, a project. So we're going to go ahead and click on um, empty folder and go ahead and um, choose that. Okay, and then we're going to do, uh, it's going to be real simple. We're just going to create a, a software uh, instrument section. Uh, let's go ahead and get that up. Okay, so all right, now we got that up. <clears throat> Excuse me. What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to bring those files into and trust me, this is this is crazy easy. So I think I have those files here on the desktop. So let's just see if we can move GarageBand over just a little bit so I can see those files. There they are right there. Okay, so we're gonna unzip that. And that should unzip us to the desktop, okay? And that's where all my stems live. So let's go ahead on and uh, open that folder, okay? And these are those tracks that we had um, in the uh, in Beatmaker Three. Let's take a listen. All right. So what we want to do is we're going to just shift click, and then we're going to grab all of those stems, and we're just going to pull them over to GarageBand. All right. Boom. There we go. Okay. 
all of those uh, tracks that we had inside of Beatmaker 3 are now inside of GarageBand. So one thing that you do need to do whenever you do this is you need to make sure that your tempo is correct. And what's really cool about uh, Beatmaker 3 whenever you create stems is it actually gives you some information that is useful whenever you're going to another DAW. And right here you can see that my um, beats per minute is 158.84. So all I need to do is go up here, double click and type that in. And now the tempos are the same. All right, so I can go ahead and squeeze that down and take my loop out a little bit more, right? And then all I have to do is push play and we are, man, we're ready to go. Just that easy, we were able to start our track in Beatmaker 3 and we all know that, you know, sometimes you don't have enough money to buy all the sounds uh, that you could essentially go out and get at the App Store for Beatmaker 3. And you may have another program like GarageBand that comes with, you know, a lot more sounds and you want to continue working on your track inside of GarageBand so you can use those sounds. This is the quickest way for you to be able to start working in this program and then transfer that information to uh, GarageBand or any other type of DAW that you have and you can do this vice versa. You can actually start your track inside of GarageBand and then transfer all of those files to BeatMaker 3. Look, appreciate y'all for checking out this tutorial, man. I'm glad you saw it to the end. Um, this is a very cool way to work. This is a great workflow for anybody that's trying to produce on multiple platforms. This is a great way to do that. I'm glad you uh, was here, and I appreciate y'all coming by and checking out this tutorial, man. Again, my name is Mark Lamont, a.k.a. Marcus Elbow. This has been Elbow Media Studios. I will see y'all in the next video. All right? All right, man. One. Peace.